<laughs> okay, good afternoon everybody. So, every one of you would have heard of computers with dual core, quad core, core i7 processors like that. Every computer has got a processing core just like the brain in our body. So, a computer with a dual core processor will have two brains, one with a quad core processor will have four brains, and with 100 cores, it has got 100 brains. Does that mean if you run a task on a dual core processor, it will run twice as faster? Let us see. See for example, the task is to grind 5 kilogram of wheat. You can divide that in a two core processor, give 2.5 kilogram to the first processor, rest to the second processor and get the whole thing ground in half the time. But in real world, software programs is just like following a recipe to prepare a dish. You have to first cut the vegetables, then sort them. You can't cut and sort the vegetables parallelly. But at the same time, you can parallelize one phase. So for example, if you have a quad core processor with four brains, you can give part of the vegetables to the first core, part of the vegetables to the second core, part to the third, and so on. So even then, the second step can start only when the first one finishes. So, in effect, the total execution type of a program is controlled by how many sequential steps you have in your program. And there are cases that, say for example, the vegetable choppers which we have chosen for the first step is such that one of them has follow, is following a very awkward method that the other three have finished chopping the vegetables and they are finishing for the fourth one to finish chopping the vegetables. So, my research is to find out such vegetable choppers who will actually prevent the other vegetable choppers from progressing to the next phase. So in effect, when you find that you have a program and it is not running properly or you expect it to run quite fast on your recent computer but it is not performing well, understand that there might be vegetable choppers who are actually preventing others from progressing to the next step. And that is actually because of a bad design in your program. So what causes a bad design? A bad design is such that you have parts of your program which causes others to wait. So what my research is to, is to uh, observe the behavior of each of the cores in your processor and find out which part of the program is actually preventing others from progressing. So hope that when my research is over, you will have a better tool such that software performance engineers can use this tool to find out whether their program is actually performing well and if they are not performing well, who the culprit is. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.